Chairman, thank you. Chairman, I just wanted to ask the CS, this issue of the IDs, the, 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 uh, Professor, you say the IDs will expire after 10 years. Have you put into consideration the first areas, people like uh, in North Turkana, uh, how far they travel to get IDs? Because IDs are not like passport, they're essential documents that people must have all the time. After, you know, the kind of, it will be cumbersome for them to go to those centers to go and get IDs. And With regard to the ID, the question by the, the Honorable Junet Mohammed, um, the reason for the 10 year limit, there are two reasons. It's actually one reason. It's because of changes in technology. Unlike the ID we have, which, which has no security features, and therefore it can be timeless. But uh, we'll find a way of making it convenient to the people of Kenya to renew after the 10 years, so that you, again, you don't create a crisis uh, for, uh, by people. Uh, uh, and, and we can do that by even having a phased out uh, renewal process to ensure that, again, we don't in, uh, inconvenience masses of people. So the problem is technology and the security features in the third generation ID which is going to be physical, that is the Maisha card. It is going to be also digital, the digital ID. You can have it digitally. So all those are options for the third generation ID, quite sophisticated in tandem with the current trends in um, security on identity documents.